welcome to Go For Goal football's knockout quiz based in and about the game's hottest region, where else but right here in the northwest. We're coming a step closer to finding the eventual winners who'll receive £5,000 to donate to a charity of their choice. And straight away, let's meet tonight's teams. First of all, Burnley, who beat Stockport 6-2 in the last match. A lot closer, though, than the scoreline suggests. Manager Jimmy Mullen is with us. Now, he's made a team change. We've got defender Ian Meacham in the side today. And guest supporter, man of the match last time out, Leighton James. And that's the Burnley team. playing against Everton today, who beat Berry in the last round. They've also made a team change. In fact, representing the club for the third time in his career, David Johnson. Man of the match last time out, Gary Ablett. And one of the most popular players in snooker, the former world champion, John Parrott. And that's the Everton team. As always, the idea of the game is to go for goal. The difficulty of that goal attempt depends on the number of correct answers in the round. One out of three for a long shot, two out of three for a half chance, and all three correct gives the chance to shoot at an open goal. And of course, no correct answers at all means no goal attempt. As always, round one is club call, questions to the players about their own clubs. Burnley first, Jimmy, your question. You know the routine by now, you can confer. Which cup did Burnley win in the 1978-79 season? Anglo-Scottish Cup. You're right, Jim. <laughs> Leighton's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see if Leighton can be right again. Which ex-Burnley player had two spells as manager at Turf Moor, the first of which was from 1979 to 1983? Brian Miller. Is correct. Ian, in 1984, Burnley equaled their highest ever win by beating which non-league team 9-0 in an FA Cup tie? Penrith is correct. Three out of three. Let's go for goal. So an early chance for Burnley to open their account today. Let's have a look at a picture obscured by a football, but three out of three gives you three pieces to be removed. Now, what is the occasion? Well, Jimmy thinks it's the 1991 Rumbelow's Cup final when Manchester United were beaten by Sheffield Wednesday. Very comprehensive answer, Leighton. Let's see if you're right. It's a goal! <laughs> yes, of course, the, the giveaway is that the cup was still in sight because, of course, at Wembley in the League Cup, the losers go up first as opposed to the FA Cup where the winners go up first and remove the trophy. Everton, let's move on to you, your club call questions. David, welcome to Go For Goal. Who is Everton's most capped player? You can confer. After conferring, <laughs> <laughs> Neville Southall. Good start, David. Well done. John, Gary Lineker played just one season at Everton, and he played 41 league games. How many league goals did he score in those games? Oh, he scored 43 overall. 30. Very well worked out, John. Absolutely right. Gary, which Everton player scored a hat-trick on his England debut in 1964? He wasn't even born then. <laughs> I was asking him that question. Well, you certainly were. <laughs> Ooh. I can think of. We think it's Fred Pickering. Gary, you're absolutely right, who also scored a hat-trick for his Everton debut um, against Nottingham Forest. So, once again, three out of three. Let's go for goal. So, it's 100% so far. Let's take a look at another picture obscured by the old ball. Three pieces to be removed. Everton, to equalise... Tell us what it's about. We think it's possibly uh, the goal that took Oldham into the give them promotion. In other words, that dramatic moment when Neil Redfern's penalty beat Notts County 3-2. Let's see if you're right. really was 
was a very good spot indeed. Not easy. Oldham winning promotion as a result of that victory. So at the end of round one, the score, Burnley won, Everton won. <laughs> Well, on to round two, three statements to each team. All they have to do is tell me whether they're true or false. Burnley, let's start with you, and once again, you can confer. Although Bob Paisley won six league championships as a manager, he never won one as a player. True or false? <laughs> Don't look at me like that. <laughs> true. False. He won a championship medal in 1947. No British club has beaten Real Madrid in Madrid, in the Bernabeu Stadium. True. That is correct. Leighton Orient Football Club took the name Orient because the founding members had all met whilst working in China. Leighton Orient. <laughs> Where did my mother get that name from then? <laughs> <laughs> my mother's never been to China in her life. True. True. False. They were called Orient because many of them worked for the Orient shipping line. So that's one out of three. Let's go for goal. Right, Burnley's chance for a 2-1 lead. Going to show you some action. Who played the overhead kick? Who scored the goal? And who was the beaten goalkeeper? And as you only got one out of the three questions right, we need to know all three participants. Uh, <coughs> the keeper was Ray Clements. Scorer, George Graham, and the overhead kick was John Radford. So you've gone for Radford, Graham, and Clements. Let's see if you're right. Oh, they've missed! Oh. It was a jolly close attempt. I mean, that's the equivalent of hitting the side netting, I think. Leighton recalled the incident most vividly, but he plumped for the wrong scorer. Radford's overhead. George Graham claimed it, but Eddie Kelly was later credited with the beating of Ray Clements.